What's up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. And today I have an unboxing of five different packages that I've received from Japan over the course of the few past months or so. All of these are things that I ordered through the Pretty Guardians fan club Japan. Now not all of these items are available through the Pretty Guardians overseas website. They were only available through the Japan website. I do have a Japanese membership for Pretty Guardians. I've done a tutorial on how I set that up and I can link that down below for y'all. But today we are going to open all these packages and have some fun checking out what I purchased and what I forgot about purchasing <laughs> from the fan club. So I'm super excited to check these out. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so I have a bunch of different items this time, mostly because this was when all the renewal items were shipping out. So I will go ahead and start off with these newsletters. So you can tell I haven't really unboxed anything for like three months, but these are a couple of different newsletters that we get from the Japanese Pretty Guardians fan club. Let's see, volume 10 features Sailor Saturn's Fukubo on the front. It has information about the Bunko mangas, as well as... Oh, that's cute! We have some cupcakes, some Sailor Moon cupcakes. Is this a recipe? I think it's a recipe for Sailor Moon cupcakes. That's adorable. I will make sure to show y'all what that says. And there's also some vintage information on here about, it looks like some vintage products maybe, as well as some fan mail. So this looks like fan made items. So cute, okay. Newsletter 11 features the Sailor Starlight's symbol on the front. We have information about, oh, this is about the Universal Studios show and the merchandise that you could get from Universal Studios. We have some info, it looks like some biographies about the manga characters maybe, uh, as well as Q-Pot Sailor Moon. So there's a bunch of information in here about Q-Pot Sailor Moon, uh, which you probably saw my unboxing recently. And that's about it for that one. Volume 12. Tuxedo mask front on this one. Oh, this is about, I think these are the, are these the phone cards maybe that came out with Sailor Moon back in the 90s? A bunch of information about those cards. There's some manga illustrations in here, some information about the Blu-rays. Oh, the Super Live, they have Super Live info in here. And they are also showing information about some of the new products that were announced recently, like the Figu Arts minis, which I do have on order, so I'm excited to check Check those out. And then we ha also have some fan art. Again, very cute. So those are always really nice to look at. However, I always have to use Google Translate since they are all in Japanese. This year, the renewal item is a reprint of this pretty letter set. So this is a stationary set that was originally uh, released back in the 1990s. However, they recreated it and turned it into this fan club only renewal set. So you could get this set if you renewed your membership with Pretty Guardians year after year. So it looks like we have some envelopes, some stickers in here, and then a whole bunch of letters. And I will take these out and show you some close-ups so you can see what they all look like. This is my membership card, which finally came in the mail. And this includes a beautiful illustration of Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion on the front, as well as my ID card number. And the back of this card, it looks about the same as the previous ones, but the paper that it comes on is really gorgeous. And uh, I know a lot of collectors just choose to leave their card on here. Um, I usually take mine out and bring it with me because sometimes you can get good deals if you travel to Japan and you have this card on you, like you get invited to events and meet stuff like that. Not that that happens all the time, but I kind of wish it did. And for all members, if you signed up during 2019, this is the special membership item Item that you would get this year. So this features Sailor Moon's wand and her compact and this is a necklace I believe. Yeah it's a necklace. So the necklace is really pretty. It looks like it's a little bit smaller than previous years but it's very cute. It's very dainty. I think it'll look pretty adorable so I'm pretty stoked about wearing it. Can't wait to show it off to all my friends. I got a few things from Qpot, which I'll go ahead and include in this unboxing, mainly just because they came in the same box as some of my Sailor Moon Pretty Guardians fan club items, because I use the same Japanese address for both Qpot orders and these Pretty Guardians items. So I did get some more of 
these cute little bracelets. So now I have, I have like four of the Sailor Moon ones. So I'll probably have to give some of those away. I also have a blue one like Sailor Mercury and I have a red one like Sailor Mars. So I have like a little collection going of these cute little bracelet slash hair tie things. So this year Coupot decided to re-release some of the items from previous collaborations. Uh, which was great because I hadn't collected everything from the previous collabs that I really wanted to get my hands on. So I was able to get these at retail prices plus shipping to, you know, America. So the price was very, very good on these. And I was like, yes, I'm getting them finally. So I was able to pick up two of the compacts as keychains. So I got the Cosmic Heart brooch and Sailor Moon's original brooch. And I also got this one as a necklace, even though I already had the keychain of this version. So this is the only compact necklace that I was missing. So I really wanted to make sure I got this one as well. Now these next three items were actually items that I ordered from the Pretty Guardians website. So there is a goods page on the website where you can uh, go and order different items. This first one is the Miracle Romance Jewel Rouge Princess Serenity Lipstick. It does come in some cute packaging. I had already seen some reviews about this, so I know that it was going to be pretty small. And it's a bit darker than I thought it was going to be. It is definitely a little bit darker. Uh, but this is very cute though. It's very adorable. I can add it to my little collection of Sailor Moon Beauty items. I'll have to see how the lipstick actually looks on, but it's basically just a silhouette of Sailor Moon's dress. So it's really cute. It's kind of ridiculous as well. And as far as the color goes, it looks pretty smooth. It looks like it's pretty moisturizing and it goes on pretty pretty well. I'll have to see what it looks like on my lips because I generally don't go for really dark colors, which is why I didn't get the Black Lady one. I decided to opt for the Princess Serenity one, but it might still be a little bit too dark for me, so I'm gonna have to check on this one. This item just came out very, very recently. I just got this in the mail. Uh, this is basically a desktop calendar. So you set this up, it's made out of cardboard. You just fold it outwards so that it stands still, and it's a desk calendar that you can put on your office desk. So each time you flip the calendar, it changes to the next two months. So we have May and June, July and August, and so on and so forth. And then on the other side, we have pictures. So these are all really beautiful illustrations from Sailor Moon. Now, the nice thing is all of these illustrations are actually postcards as well. So there's a perforated line along here and you can just rip them off the perforation and use them as postcards, or you can save them in your postcard album if you wanted to. So that calendar is for 2020, which means I will be able to use that next year. Okay, the last thing that I wanted to mention this time around is the Pretty Guardians Sauvons Gem. I don't know how to say that. I don't speak French, uh, but this is a very cute little bath soap collection. So you have bath soaps, which are dedicated to Sailor Moon, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, and Venus. And then there's also bath salts for tuxedo mask with the four heavenly kings. So Sailor Moon's is rose quartz, Sailor Mercury is lapis lazuli, Sailor Mars is garnet, Sailor Jupiter is green garnet, Sailor Venus is albatre oriental, and then tuxedo mask again is the bath salts. They come in some really beautiful packaging and they look like cute little rock minerals. Now each of them is wrapped up in some plastic as well, so you can take these out of the packaging and display them if you want, which is probably what I'm going to do, because they do look like little minerals. They look like little gems, like uncut gorgeous gems out of the earth. And they look very, very realistic, which is actually really cool. They also smell very good. Um, each of these smells different. All of them smell different, which is pretty awesome. And they all have a really nice, distinct look to them. The bath salts is pretty small, so you'll probably want to mix those in with some other bath salts that you have. But the bath salts are multicolored, so they're kind of based on the colors of the four heavenly kings. This is a very cute little collection. I kind of love it. Well, that wraps up my Pretty Guardians fan club haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, if you have any questions about any of these products, make sure to leave those in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on the next video. Johnny.